Uh, he wouldn't rub my butt, y'all. No sex. Evil Tell him why. words. Try to end my sex life, your honor. You had uh, intimate relations with this so-called cross-country buddy? Um, yes. Exactly, y'all. I had needs. It was, mm. it was it was about 20 days in. I have needs. And um, he wasn't performing. Uh, performing. Uh, Let me stop her there. A wife admitting to cheating because her man... He wasn't performing. Yeah, he wasn't meeting her needs. Well, let's go back to the beginning and find out why he wants a divorce her. You don't blame him already, do you? I have trust issues now. Mr. James, you say you have hit a breaking point in your marriage. You say your wife's lies has tarnished your trust and you can't seem to find a resolution other than a divorce. Yes, Your Honor. And Mrs. James, you've come to divorce court in hopes of saving your marriage. You say instead of pointing fingers, Mr. James should be focused on finding a resolution. Oh. Absolutely, Your Honor. Okay, so Mr. and Mrs. James, you've been married for 10 years and you do have a daughter together, but there seems to be a major problem in this marriage. Mr. James, why are we in court today, sir? Well, Your Honor, I'm at my wit's end. I have these divorce papers here today. Uh-oh, you I brought need them her to, to sign. court. Yes, ma'am, I brought them right here for her to sign today. Um, there's infidelity in this marriage. Wow. There has been... Mean, evil, harsh words, wow. temper. The wife, you know, the wife. Oh God! You know, I haven't watched all of it, but the wife does seem somewhat unhinged, doesn't she? It's medication time. I mean, she seems a bit unhinged, like. Ah! Yeah. And I can't do it no more, so I got these here for her to sign today. If there's any reason why you can help me and show me that I'm I should still be in this marriage, please let me know so we know how to do this today. You heard what Mr. James had to say. What do you say, Mrs. James? I love him. I don't want to leave him. I love him. <laughs> but he has to work on some things himself. Like sexual pleasure? Evil, Tell him why. words. He's not pleasing you enough? That's what we know so far. That's what we know so far. To how you all met, and then what brought you to a point where you're in divorce court? Well, when I first met this lady right here, we were at Aww. a library. Mm -hmm. I caught her, and she was actually walking with like maybe 25 to 30 children books, a lot of books in her hand, all the way up to the half face up to her nose. Oh, look at that. Look at, look at that. I love this stuff so much. I'm just, yeah. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Look how lovely and together they once were. A lovely couple, aren't they? Yeah, it's always how it starts, isn't it? <laughs> From this to now. And I was being a gentleman and asked her, can I help her with her books? Oh. And got to know her, found out, hey, we're from the same city. And from there on forward, we built a relationship, friendship, been there for each other. And I don't know how we got to this point right now. So Mrs. Thing. James, when the relationship started out, Mr. James was living in a homeless shelter. Yes, ma'am. Fortunes changed. And Mr. James ended up being the one that had your back. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Oh. So two people found each other. And when it was necessary, they each had each other's back. Is that? That's actually nice. Became an earning man. That's good. Mr. James, how did it go so wrong? You think that your wife is cheating? Yes, Your Honor. She does music. She sings. Mm -hmm. She raps. She was working with people that she does music with. Okay. Ooh. And we was at the house and she said she had to go record some music. How late? Okay, okay. Leaving the house late at night to go record music? Yes, Your Honor. Did you get dressed up? Or did you finish getting dressed in the car? Hmm. See, a lot of men are afraid to get married nowadays. Because what are you going to do with a cheating wife? Divorce her. Do you want to get married just to get divorced? Yeah. Uh, 11, 12 o'clock at night. So y'all should have been wow. getting ready for bed at that time. Exactly, Your Honor. But it didn't happen that way. Hmm. She got the call and decided to leave and go do that. And... Hey, from 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. Rock. I couldn't help myself. 6 o'clock. What time did she come home? 7 o'clock. We had a oh. whole another 60 minutes to it. In the morning? Yes, ma'am. Mrs. James, what were you doing till 7 o'clock? I was recording my music, Your Honor. Getting busy. This is not, if this is not anything unusual for a musician to do, we were... Yeah. Backs are getting blown out. Damn right. Yeah, more than speakers. You'd expect speakers. All right, you get the point. You get the point, but... But um, wait a minute. So From what I understand, first, but... Mr. James said that you received a phone call and that's what made you respond to go out. Did the song come out or are you telling me you just have to work at it until it's the producers a, it's a get certain, it? It's a certain type of mood that you, you're you in and mm. if I, I had access at that particular moment to do the song, then... I'm running off and I'm doing what I do for well, Honor, It took her my three happiness. whole days to let me know that, hey, I was with someone else. 
I only said that because to make him be quiet. He always does not answer my questions. So, hey, I don't owe you an explanation. I that's I don't trust this woman. It's not because of the studio stuff. And that's what made you respond to go out. So it's a bit of creativity, and on some cases, a bit of freakiness. On some cases. So, hmm. Other than that, though, I mean, she's giving off a very guilty vibe. Wait a minute. Excuse me. You suspected that she was cheating that night, Mr. James, or that something untoward had occurred because she was out late. You questioned her about it. Yes, Your Honor. And when you questioned her about it, what did she say? She didn't say nothing till a couple of days later and told me that she Lies. had cheated with him. Lies. Mrs. James, you told your husband that you had cheated with someone? Because that's what he accused me of. Liar! Okay. Or is it what really happened? Hmm? Yeah, lie. Yeah, I'm just saying I don't know, but yeah. Because that's what he accused me of. Lie. There's nothing that anybody could do or say to make me say that I violated my marriage vows. Why would you confess to something that you did not do if you didn't do it? He's done it to me before. Just I've never playing with my head. At all. I've never cheated with anybody at all in my whole entire marriage. So mm -hmm. you heard what Mr. James says. He's never cheated with anybody. Have I you ever told I... her you cheated with somebody? No, Your Honor. So Ms. Mrs. James, how did he, quote, do it to you? He'll leave that openness of thought in me. And the questions don't get answered. I don't deserve his answers. So he doesn't deserve mine. He don't. He doesn't respect the truth. He don't deserve the truth. But well, Yana, I also got. I mean, it is a form of gaslighting, isn't it? Admitting the truth, but making you think that the truth is, you know, no, it's wrong. But I'm going to admit to it anyway. When it really is, a yeah, you get the point. You get the point. Because that's what he accused me of. The liar wrapped within the deception, base as truth. Mm. Got another piece of evidence I'm gonna let you know also. What else happened? I was at work. I got a call from Miss James over here saying that, hey, she wants to go pro promote her music across the country. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. I think she's gonna promote her music in our city or the next surrounding cities. But no, she decided to go on a cross country trip to this state, that state, the other states, but someone else in my vehicle that she took. Damn. Who'd she go with? It's someone she does music with. Hmm. She went on tour. Yeah, in his vehicle. Went blowing out his speakers, but again, backs are getting blown out. Wow. Audibly. Mrs. James, you went on a multi-day cross-country trip with someone else? What happened was, he knew I was going down the East Coast. Just so happened, I asked Mr. James, would you like to come with me? Please come with me. He said he didn't want to come with me. He doesn't want to come with me to follow my dreams to or pursue my dreams. He family. got left. And, and no, guess what? Left, I need I a man. If I leave that, then I can't take I my need a family man. home. He got family. left. Look, I get it. I get her point following her dreams but at the same time if he's got responsibilities he's got to take care of the kids one parent has to be responsible but okay i'm pleased. with me i am a woman a solo female artist so if i had a buddy who was ready to ride and mr james wasn't i left i left i left did you tell your husband where you were and what you were doing when i got there yeah she told me also that she had sex with him too you had uh, intimate relations with this so-called cross-country buddy yes exactly mm. i had needs it was mm. it was it was about 20 days in i have needs and wow. um, he wasn't performing wow. I Okay, look, she's admitting it now, but this is a point. What was with all the deception before? What was with all the gaslighting and pretending and, oh, oh I'm going to say I did, but I didn't? No, nah, it's BS. It's BS. This woman was cheating and probably for a very long time. Her being forced to admit it, she's admitting it now, but with, still with layers of gaslighting, she's still pretending about stuff. But wow. And someone who a lot of men fear marriage. Oh, so you thought it was okay to break your wedding vows? At the time, I thought we were going to be separated. I was leaving for good. But you were taking his car. That's our car. <laughs> Mr. James. And he couldn't get it back either. <laughs> See, I'm talking about Yana. Well, wow. Mr. James, you don't seem to care I that, that you violated your wedding vows. It doesn't seem to bother you. You just went off with somebody for 10, 11, 12 days. It's not how it seems. It okay, but if he went off 10, 11, 12 days with another woman, how would you feel? I would feel like he could have stayed out there where he was. Exactly. Right. Now, if he had done that, turned that around on you and said, you stay exactly where you are. If you want to be a hoe, go be a hoe, but you're not going to be a hoe in my house. He could have legitimately said that. Straight up. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to mince words. He should have said that, to be honest. He should have said that. <laughs> this judge is dropping bars. He should have said that. Go be a hoe, but you're not going to be a hoe in my house. Yeah, trust me. I would have said that. I'd be like, keep the car. The thing's old and trashy like you anyway. No, I, I wouldn't yeah, I'd say that much. I probably would have. Because you, you're not going to leave my house and go on a 10, 11 day binge with another man 
mm-hmm. and think you're going to just roll back up at the crib and it's going to be all right. Blowing up backs into the speakers. I don't know a man that would agree with that. I don't know a woman that would agree with that. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you have been sitting in that same position and he made a call for you, say he is a comedian and he wants to go on the road to promote his comedy, mm-hmm. go out 10, 11, 12 days, and he's going to bring with him a female because he needs companionship. You'd have told him to stay his behind right on out there and hope that lady gave him the companionship she needed to because that's the only thing he's going to see if he come back in your house. Am I right or wrong? Your Honor, at the time, we were going to be separated. I- were you? Or did you just get in your car and drive off, go on your low-budget tour and get busy? Not make business or, you know, make your money. You just got were getting busy. I was leaving. I was leaving. He was leaving me in a bed. He was telling me no. And guess what? I have a dream. He don't want to go. You don't want to go. You're left. Okay, so you left. I left. Now, why did you come back? He begged me to. Mr. James, were you... And she had nowhere to go. And she had nowhere to go. Okay, look, let's address the point he wasn't putting out as well. Leaving me in a bed. He was telling me no. Plus, why wasn't he putting out? Uh, There must be a reason. Now, what's going on, woman? Did he suspect she was cheating already, or is there just something else going on? Were you aware that Mrs. James' intention was to leave you and to leave that marriage? No, Your Honor. She said she was going to promote her music, and then she you know she was with someone in the vehicle. I didn't like the situation. Um, I told her to come back. You did? I did. I asked her to come back. I did. Oh. Why would you ask her to come back? Because she don't need to be out on the road with somebody else that's not me in the vehicle. You should have left her out there, to be honest, but okay, he just you know, he wanted to save his marriage, I guess. And it's my car. Did you know? My wife. It's just in your car. It's my wife it's and our my car. car. Everything is I ours. Want car back. Why do you That's say it's your car? The other person, he's not in my family. So in other words, regardless of whose car it was, you know it wasn't this extra man's car. Exactly. I get your point. It's about my job. They gave me a surprise birthday party at my job. Mm-hmm. Everybody at my job brings a dish to the party. One of my coworkers brought some potato salad. Okay. It was made by hand. Okay. So my wife thinks to me. Especially that for you. It won't just for me, it's for everybody. But she thinks it's for me because they had made, made it's it. It's your birthday. My birthday party. It might have been my birthday party, but there were other people there for everyone. At the end of the party, they said, take the leftovers home. Took the leftovers home. That's what normal some. people do. Mm-hmm. And I ate some, and she's like, oh, so she made that especially mm-hmm. for you. No. Oh. Nah. She's loving you. It worked. Nah. Oh, you're doing something with her. You have a- <laughs> So this, this woman here is jealous over potato salad. Oh, I can make potato salad. Potato salad. Uh, you know, he must be getting it from somewhere else. Therefore, the potato salad. So Potato salad. Okay. The and potato the salad lady? Over some <laughs> potato salad. And it is not even that. I go to work. I work hard. Go to work 8 o'clock in the morning. Get off 5, 6, 7 o'clock in the evening. Come home to my wife. Come home to my children. After you ate her potato salad. But <laughs> oh. Ate her potato salad. Potato salad. That must be some good potato salad. Mm, damn. Potato salad for everyone. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It's potato salad at a potluck birthday party. <laughs> and how did it manifest itself after this, this whole this, situation? This whole thing lasted for like a whole year. Been born for a whole year. So what I did, I, I got frustrated and got fed up. So I called my coworker like, hey, tell her what the hell happened. What's going on with this? Because it's not nothing I want. It's, I'm, I'm fed up with it. So this had been a conversation in your family for over a year. Yes. And then you went back to a coworker and say, please explain to this woman about yes, this potluck party. She, had, she wanted to speak to the coworker. OK. So I like, you know what? I can't do this no more. Go ahead. Go ahead and speak to her. And after that, after the conversation, she got real heated. She was up here, Your Honor. She was up there, and she was going off on a co-worker, going what? off on me. To question this man eating a co-worker's potato salad. Hey, her potato salad? When you got <laughs> your tacky trifling behind in a car and went on the road. I won't tag it, no trifling, Your Honor. Okay, no, that's trifling. It's trifling. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, her potato salad? <laughs> oh, this is, this is mad. So she assumes he cheated because of potato salad. Potato salad? Okay, where she actually cheated because of her music. Okay. In every community that I ever heard of, that is the definition of trifling. Now, if you have an open relationship... your wife in a bed without no sex, that's trifling. So that's trifling watching her cry. 
That's damn. trifling. I understand. Damn, she damn, she looks eaten there. She's got them mad eyes. Yeah, she got them crazy eyes. Wow, them crazy eyes. Hey, her potato salad. Yeah. A lot of you have seen this before, haven't you? Yeah? You're getting PTSD, aren't you? Yeah, look. Yeah, look deeper. I've seen enough. Yeah. Yeah, remember. The point is, with her crazy eyes right now, I have to wonder, but why isn't he putting out, though? I mean... Why in a bed without no sex? She's making a good point here. I have to agree with her here. You know, she's getting a bit crazy with it. No sex? With the crazy eyes, but what's going on? There is something going on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, come on. It's a marriage. You have to still get busy, don't you? Don't you? And that your intimacy issues have really reared their head. And you feel very strongly that if he's not going to be intimate with you, you're going to seek intimacy elsewhere. Is that correct? He tried to end my sex life, Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. James, what's your answer to Ms. <laughs> Try to end my sex life, Your Honor. <laughs> Try to end my sex life, Your Honor. <laughs> oh, I've never heard that before. It actually makes sense, but it's actually... Try to end my sex life, Your Honor. <laughs> he tried to end my sex life. Wow, that is... I don't know how this judge isn't laughing, but then again, she's professional, isn't she? This, this is hilarious. This is James. I'm not trying to end that at all. <laughs> I'm there for her. I work a lot of hours. Before, I was working overnight. Now I'll be tired in the daytime. Yeah, I'm not, now I'm, I'm working during the daytime. I'm and do that, after a long day of work, <laughs> he wouldn't rub my butt, y'all. <laughs> He I'd wouldn't rub my butt, y'all. After a long day's work, and you don't even want to rub your woman's butt, like, come on, what is, what's going on? You don't want to grow up your woman and rub her butt. Uh, that, that is a bit weird. Like, what's going on? He I'd wouldn't rub my butt, y'all. Just what she was saying about rubbing her butt, she was in a car accident. And with that, she's injured. I don't mind rubbing her butt. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm not trying to be the one that's going to injure her even more for me doing it. It's not no prescription from a doctor to say, hey, you need to rub this and... Four in the evening to five thirty in the evening. I'm your what? Oh, how is the judge not laughing? You kind of get his point. She had an accident, so you don't want to feel up a, a woman too roughly and injure her even more. Mr. Wow. James, you came to court today because you wanted to know if this marriage can be salvaged. You want to hear my opinion. Yes, ma'am. Do you want y'all are not even connected in any way. Whatever it is that Mrs. James needs, you're not fulfilling. And whatever it is you wanted for a wife, she's not it. Yes, very toxic, very toxic. Still, he wasn't putting out for whatever reason. But she just jumped to cheating for whatever reason. A couple like this here, you can see, they shouldn't be together. And that's why some men fear marriage. Have a nice day. He wouldn't rub my butt, y'all.